Alfred Tennyson was born in England in 1809. His poetry career was at its height in 1850, when he was 41, making him possibly the most popular poet of the Victorian era. In 1850, Tennyson became the Poet Laureate of England. After this, he began writing several poems reflecting his own political views. One of these is The Charge of the Light Brigade. Written in 1854, it describes the bloody charge in the Crimean War. Half a league, half a league, half a league onward, all in the Valley of Death, rode the 600. Forward the Light Brigade, charge for the guns, he said. Into the Valley of Death, rode the 600. Forward the Light Brigade, was there a man dismayed? Not though the soldier knew, someone had blundered. There's not to make reply, there's not to reason why, there's but to do and die. Into the Valley of Death, rode the 600. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon in front of them, volleyed and thundered. Stormed at with shot and shell, boldly they rode and well, into the jaws of death, into the mouth of hell, rode the 600. Flashed all their sabers bare, flashed as they turned in air, sabering the gunners there, charging an army, while all the world wondered. Plunged in the battery smoke, right through the line they broke, Cossack and Russian, reeled from the saber stroke, shattered and sundered. Then they rode back, but not, not the 600. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon behind them, volleyed and thundered, stormed up with a shot and shell, while horse and hero fell. They that fought so well came to the jaws of death, back from the mouth of hell, all that was left of them, left the 600. When can their glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made, all the world wondered. Honor the charge they made, honor the light brigade, noble 600. The entire poem is an allusion to the Battle of Balaclava in the Crimean War. There are also biblical allusions when Tennyson refers to the Valley of Death. The poem uses repetition in the beginning when it says, half a league, half a league, half a league onward. The poem also makes use of anaphora, a type of repetition when it reads, cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon in front of them. This unceasing description of the cannons describes the mentality of both sides of the conflict. Just as the charge going against the cannons was unceasing, so too were the cannons firing against them. The repetition gives the sense of bombardment of the cannons. Tennyson uses symbolism when he describes the 600. The 600 represent the unceasing will of the soldiers in the army. He uses a hyperbole when he says all the world wondered. The poem itself describes a group of 600 soldiers on horseback riding to their death, as described in the poem when it says the Valley of Death. The soldiers realize that their commander has erred in his judgment to send them. However, they maintain their charge. This is shown in the second stanza. Someone has blundered. There's not to make reply. There's not to reason why. There's but to do and die. This says that they did not have a right to reply or question his orders. Uh, their only job was to do and die. This section shows the soldiers as nothing but pawns. Tennyson says that their loyalties are entirely to their commander. This is further shown in the manner in which Tennyson refers to the Light Brigade. He does not address them as individuals, but rather describes them only as the 600. This shows them as more of a military unit submissive to their superiors, rather than people with individual judgment. In the end, the soldiers probably realized that their devotion was mistaken and it was a waste of life, seeing as those who wanted to stay and keep their devotion died, whereas those who realized that they were mistaken retreated. Tennyson would later record the poem on a wax cylinder in 1890, just two years before he died at the age of 93.